What's up, YouTube? Got myself a shipwreck coin here. This is from the El Cazador wreck site. This is a Spanish silver eight reals coin, otherwise known as a piece of eight. Also, I've heard it referred to as a portrait dollar, and it's sometimes referred to as the first US silver dollar because this was actually legal tender in the US back in the day. So the El Cazador has a great story behind it. Um, the shipwreck went down in 1784 and they recovered roughly 450,000 coins from this site, most of which were eight reals. There were some other denominations also. Uh, most of the coins that were found were dated 1783. On this particular one, you cannot make out the three, so therefore it is not listed on the slab, the NGC slab. But uh, there was also like two reals, four reals, I think there were single reals, and there were a few different dates here and there. But the story of this coin is really cool. This is King Charles III on the obverse. It's very hard to make out. In Spanish, he was known as Carlos. I've also seen it written Carolus or Carlos, C-A-R-O-L-U-S, however you say that. But this guy had a hell of a beak on him. You can see they didn't shave any off for the coin either. Very hard to see, and I wish you could read the date, but you can't, so it is what it is. I spent $100 on this coin from Atmax. You can do a little better on eBay, but to save 10 or 20 bucks, I'd rather, I mean, there's a lot of fakes of these. On the reverse, you have the Spanish coat of arms. You can see in the middle here, like, Pillars of Hercules on the side, and then there's a crown, like a poofy crown on top here. So, not a great coin to look at, but it's been over 200 years in the bottom of the ocean, so. Very cool, and it's a piece of history because, I mean, it's been called the coin that shaped the nation, or something like that. I don't know. But as the story goes, in 1784, Spain had control of the Louisiana Territory. And their unbacked fiat currency was kind of failing. So they wanted to inject some physical silver into the economy to try and save it. And because this ship didn't make it, Spain ended up ceding this territory back to the French. They turned around and flipped it, and it led to the Louisiana Purchase. So, if you're anything like me and you are also not smarter than a fifth grader, let me just briefly explain that back then, that Louisiana Territory was considered a wasteland. It was useless. It was either swamp or it was nothing. There was a few military outposts, a couple colonies, a few engines. That was it. But at that time, it was costing Spain more to maintain than what they were getting out of it. So financially, it was a lost cause. And on top of that, the Americans were slowly working their way west of the Mississippi. And as far as Spain was concerned, they were just, the Americans were just trouble. They were assholes. So when that ship didn't make it, Spain was kind of forced to, you know, old Chuck III had to go to Napoleon and say, listen, okay, We'll give you back this territory as long as you agree never to sell it to a foreign power. And Napoleon had his hand in his thing with his fingers crossed and he was like, wee wee. A couple years later, he flipped it for 15 million bucks. And literally, the shape of the United States almost doubled overnight, literally. So it was, this was a huge deal. It was, we're talking 828,000 square miles. 15 million bucks is like three or four cents a, an acre. You guys can do the math. I didn't do the math. I've heard multiple numbers, but more importantly, um, the United States then had control of the Mississippi River. 
They had control of the Port of New Orleans. Like a lot of things had to line up for that, for this to go through. And that ship not making it there was huge in the way that that all went down. So huge part of history with this coin. At any rate, El Cazador left Veracruz, Mexico in 1784 and was not seen again until 1993 when a small fishing trawler started pulling up clumps of coins in their nets. By 2002, salvage operations had commenced and I now have some shipwreck booty, a piece of eight in my collection. <laughs> He's jacking his little weenus. Pull yourself together. Not at the table, Carlos. <laughs>